right. Good morning, yogis. Happy Monday. Welcome to Vinyasa Flow. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Melissa. And before we get started, we're going to pull our affirmation card for today. So I already went ahead and mixed these up. So I'm just going to pull the one off the top. And it's blank. <laughs> so I am. So that's basically free for you to write your own intention or affirmation for your practice this morning. So maybe that is just I am. So that can be your intention or affirmation as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on our backs this morning. Any way you want to get started, you can take Shavasana, you can bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide for Supta Baddha Konasana. If you have a block or blanket or a pillow and you want to take it either underneath the low back for supported bridge, or maybe underneath the shoulder blades for supported fish. So find the pose that feels best for you. And then as you start to settle in, maybe shimmy a little side to side, Create that last bit of movement before you finally settle into some stillness. You can start to gently close the eyes as you settle into the four corners of the mat. Just allowing your arms to be wherever is comfortable for you. You can start to gently shut the eyes. Start to relax the face. Just take a nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose, it's the face, and open mouth and sigh it out. Just take a nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose, it's the face. to settle in here and open mouth and first pose and really ground yourself. Just take a nice deep cleansing breath in through the nose, it's the face. to settle in here and open mouth and first pose and really ground yourself. Side cleansing breath up, maybe just in through the nose. The fingers to gently curl so inward, to settle in here, your open mouth, then first arm out, really come round your side, 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 side the palms up, maybe just in allow the wide, the fingers to gently curl in, the pull the knees down to open up the hips and the low back. And then take another deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And open mouth and side out. Cleansing breath, every act will just melt a little deeper into your space. And open mouth and sigh it out. Every exhale, release a little bit more Cleansing tension. Breath, every act will just melt a little deeper into your space. Let something go. And open mouth and sigh it out. Every exhale, release a little bit more Cleansing tension. Breath, every act will just melt a little deeper into your space. Let something go. And open mouth and sigh it out. And as you're starting to relax physically, Start to relax mentally. So I know a lot of the times we have a million thoughts running through our minds. Try not to push them down. Let them surface. Just acknowledge them as thoughts. And then gently watch them fade. Just acknowledge them as thoughts. You need to do here for this next 60 minutes. And then gently watch them fade. to me, guide you through your practice. And listen to your body as you come into the pose. Just acknowledge them as thoughts that you do here for this next six minutes. And then gently watch them lead. Listen to me guide you through your And then just start to bring your awareness to your breath. Just noticing as it is, not trying to change it. Seeing if you can match the in-breath with the out-breath and length. Seeing with it, every inhale you can fill the belly all the way up. And every exhale you completely empty out, pulling the belly button towards the spine. And then here, if you want to set that intention or affirmation, if you want to take that I am affirmation, you're more than welcome. But if you want to set something else, take this moment to begin to set those.
Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Again, inhale. Exhale it out. On your next inhale, go ahead, seal the lips and fire up that ujjayi breath. So sealing the lips, bringing those inhales and exhales through the nose. With every exhale, feel that whisper in the back of the throat, creating the sound of ocean waves. Take a few more rounds of breath here. Take two more full rounds of breath, completely fill up on the inhales, and completely empty out on the exhales. And then on your next inhale, gently wiggle the fingers and the toes, rounding the wrists, bending the elbows. If you have the knees out wide or a prop underneath you, take it out, bring the knees together. Let's take a good morning stretch. Reach your arms long behind you, point your toes long in front of you, reach and lengthen. Take a nice inhale, open mouth, exhale. Bring your knees to the chest. Let's gently massage through the low back, rocking side to side, or maybe creating circles. Let's bring the arms out to a T as we take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, drop the knees over to the right as you look over to the left for a supine twist. Nice, easy twist here, nothing crazy. Again, if you need to prop the knees up with anything to help you relax a little deeper into the pose without bringing that left shoulder blade up. And then let's come back to center on the inhale. Exhale, drop the knees to the left. This time we're gonna look over to that right side. Again, if you wanna prop the knees up, keeping your right shoulder blade planted and relaxing through the face. Gently come back to center, rocking side to side here. Let's find a happy baby, gently bringing the knees to the outside of the rib cage. Again, you can grab for outside edges, inner arches, big toes, or anywhere in the legs that you can grab to open up your hips. Keeping the tailbone and the shoulder blades grounded. And if it feels good to create movement, you can find some movement here. And then from here, we're going to bring the knees together as we place the hands underneath the knees and crossing your ankles. Start to rock and roll the length of the spine a few times. Make some momentum to come all the way up to tabletop hands and knees. Finding that first tabletop pose, any movement that feels good. And then let's just start to settle in, bringing our shoulders directly over the wrists, the hips in line with the knees. Press the palms, the shins, tops of the feet to the mat. Nice, long, neutral spine. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, cat, chin to chest, round the spine, push the mat away. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, cat, round it out, really exaggerating that movement. Inhale. And exhale. One more round together. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Go ahead, take two more rounds at your own pace.
When you've gone through your two rounds, let's just meet in a nice neutral spine in your tabletop. We're going to start to tuck the toes under, coming to sit back on your heels for broken toe pose, making sure you tuck all of those toes underneath. Again, if this is too much pressure on the feet, take a block or a blanket and prop it up underneath your sits bones. It takes some of the pressure off of the feet. So you're going to feel an opening through the meridians as we stretch the feet here. And then just start to release your hands either to your thighs or maybe one hand to heart, one hand to belly, and just close the eyes here just for a few breaths. And if you want to create movement, rocking side to side on those heels. So this is a really great stretch if you're somebody that has plantar fasciitis or if you're on your feet all day, especially those that are essential workers. I'm sure now more than ever you're on your feet. So take this time to honor and thank your feet. Give them the love that they need. I know it can be a little intense, but how often do we actually stretch our feet? Just a few more breaths here. And then let's gently start to lift off of our heels. Let's untuck the toes, maybe shake them out a little bit. And now we're going to come to sit back on our heels, bring your knees together. We're going to start to stretch through the tops of the feet and into your ankles. So you're going to just start to press your weight back, bring the hands behind you, lift the knees as much as comfortable till you feel that intense stretch through the front of the ankles, the shins maybe even a little bit in the tops of the feet. And again, if you want to rock side to side. And then from here, drop the knees back down to the mat, but keep the knees together, sitting up nice and tall. On the inhale, reach the arms nice and high. On the exhale, let's take a twist to the right. Releasing the right hand behind the left hand to the outside of the knee. Sit up tall to lengthen your spine and then look either over to the right or all the way back over that shoulder. With every inhale, think about lengthening your spine. Every exhale, twist a little deeper in the pose. Let's start to plant the right palm behind us as we lift our hips. Inhale, reach that left arm up and over. Find that nice little back bend and hold. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let's twist to the left, releasing the arms behind or to the outside of the knee or thigh. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine, twist as deep as you can, and wherever the neck allows you to take that gaze. Let's plant that palm behind us as we lift our hips. Inhale, reach that right arm up and over. Hold it here. Exhale, release down. We're going to start to set up for embryo pose here. So keeping the knees together, you're going to bring the forehead down to the mat. Nice and slow. And then your arms are going to reach for the heels. You want the arms to just kind of lay out to the sides. If you have a hard time getting the forehead to connect to the mat, take a block or a blanket or a pillow underneath the forehead to help you. So let's just settle in as we compress through all of our organs, as we just start to come in this little ball here, as we start to connect to ourselves, our true selves, our smallest version of us. So just settle in and let the shoulder blades start to splay open. Option to stay here in this embryo pose or option to come what's called rabbit pose. Just be mindful of rabbit if you have neck issues to not do this. But for rabbit pose, you want to place the crown of the head into the mat, not the forehead. So make sure you're on the crown of the head. And you're going to lift your hips up. So I'll demo what that looks like. Still trying to bring the forehead as close to the knees as you can. So from embryo pose, bring the top of the head down. Lift the hips and push up on your heels. If when you do that you feel too much pressure on the neck, just meet us back in embryo pose. Just find which variation feels the best. You don't want to feel any compression in the neck.
Let's drop back into embryo pose if you took that up into rabbit. And we're just going to be here for a few more rounds of breath. Slowly start to walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Let's lift the chest. Come back to tabletop. Bring the knees hip width. Let's start to kick our right leg long behind us as you flex through your toes and square your hips to the mat. Pull your belly button to your spine. Engage through your core. Start to extend your left arm long in front of you, bringing your bicep to the ear with the thumb pointing up towards the ceiling. On your inhale, reach and lengthen. On your exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and crunch. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lengthen, we're gonna stay here. Bend your right knee, and if you can go for the bind, grab for the foot, the toes, or the ankle. Kick into the hand, lift the chest, and look up. One more breath. Release to tabletop, shake it out. And then let's flip the right palm up to get a wrist stretch. And bring it down. Other side, kick your left leg long behind you, flex through your toes, engage through your core. Extend that right arm long in front of you, bicep to the ear. Reach on the inhale, crunch on the exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Again, bring it out. Exhale and crunch. Inhale, reach. We're going to hold it here. Bend the knee, and if the bind is there, go ahead, take it. Lifting the chest, opening the heart. Hold it here. One more breath. Release back, shake it out, and then you flip your left palm this time to face up. Find that wrist stretch. Let's come back to center. Let's take a deep breath in as we curl the toes under. Exhale, hover the knees a few inches off the mat, pressing the weight back towards the heels. Take an inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale. Exhale it out. One more breath. Down dog, lift your hips up and back. And any bit of movement here in that first down dog. Pedal the feet, bend to the knees. Maybe shake the head yes and no. Let's lift up high onto the toes and drop to the heels. High to toes and drop to heels. One more time, high to toes. Bend into the knees, look between the hands. Walk the feet all the way up to the hands. Come to a nice forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, let's reach the arms up nice and high. Exhale, interlace the fingers, press the palms towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. Willow to the right as you exhale. Let's come up just halfway. Exhale, get a little deeper. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, willow to the left. Come up halfway. Exhale, get a little deeper. Inhale, let's come back to center. Exhale, place the palms to the back of the head. Inhale, lift the chin, pull the shoulder blades together, hold it here. Exhale, swan dive, hinge from the hips, lead with the heart, come down nice and slow. As you find a fold here, you can choose to keep the hands to the back of the head for a gentle assist or take the ragdoll variation. Bringing your feet about hip width. Bending into the knees as much as you need to. And just swing side to side, front to back, or maybe finding stillness. Release the hands, maybe toe heel the feet back together a bit. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up nice and high, hold it here. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Again, inhale, let's sweep the arms up nice and high, hold it here. 
Exhale, goal post the arms, slight back bend, lift through the heart. Inhale and reach. Exhale, swan dive, nice and slow. Halfway lift. Fold for gorilla. So now we're gonna place the hands underneath the feet with the palms up. Finding another fold here. If the toes touch the wrist creases, maybe give them a nice little massage. Maybe try to bring the weight forward to challenge your balance by lifting a heel. Again, bending into the knees as much as you need to, bringing your chest towards your thighs. A few more rounds of breath here. Go ahead, release the hands. Plant the palms down, step the feet back to a high plank. Finding that first plank, shoulders over wrists, belly button to spine, press through those heels. Take an inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog, exhale, let it go, pedal it out. Deep breath in. Open mouth in, sigh it out. Right leg lifts. Bend your knee, stack your hip, rotate the ankle one way. Rotate it out the other way. Lift that knee a little higher. Bring your knee towards your nose. And shoot it back. Knee to nose. And shoot it back. One more time, knee to nose. Let's hold it here. Look between the hands. Step through to a low lunge. Reach your right arm high for an easy twist. Stack the shoulders, open the heart. Push through that back heel. Tap bind if it's there. Inhale. Twisting on the exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, side plank. Bring your right leg on top of your left, hold it here. Inhale, exhale it out. Breath in, breath out. Inhale your right leg high. Bring it back to a low lunge. Drop the left knee top of the foot to the mat. Interlace the fingers to your right thigh and sink. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Open the hip. On your inhale, straighten your front leg. On your exhale, bend. Inhale and straighten. Exhale, bend. Last time. Straighten the leg, let the toes lift. We're setting up for half splits. You can stay here, plant the hands next to you. You can walk back towards your left heel, flexing the foot, walk forward. Or you can prop up your right glute with a block or blanket or pillow. Flex your right toes and walk forward as much as comfortable, feeling that hamstring and calf stretch. If you have a strap or a belt at home, you can place it to the middle of the foot and bring that chest closer to the thigh. On your next inhale, slowly rise all the way back up. If you have a prop underneath, you take it out. Let's start to re-bend into that right knee, plant the hands down. Left toes are gonna curl under, left knee lifts. Standing splits, left leg high. Again, option to use a block underneath the hands if you need to, holding it here. Inhale that leg one inch higher. Exhale, bring it behind your right ankle, cross the ankles, hold it here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and settle in for a few breaths. Uncross the ankles to a forward fold. Halfway lift, fold on the exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up nice and high, palms to touch. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to mat for chaturanga, or just go right from high plank to down dog, or plank to the knees. 
meeting in down dog. Hold it here. Inhale that left leg up. Bend your knees, stack your hip. Rotate the ankle one way and the other way. Lift that knee a little higher and then bring your knee towards your nose. Shoot it back. Knee to nose and shoot it back. One more time, knee to nose. Let's hold it here. Look between the hands. Step through to a low lunge. Reaching your left arm high for an easy twist. Arm lifts or maybe that half bind. Option always to, if you need to, drop your back knee down for stability. Inhale that arm up. Exhale, side plank. Always know you can take plank to the knees if you need to as well. Hold it here, take an inhale. Exhale it out. Breath in, breath out. Inhale that left leg high. Step through to that low lunge. Drop the right knee, top of the foot to the mat. Interlace the fingers to your left thigh. Sink into your right hip. Keep your shoulders relaxed, the face relaxed, and sink. On the inhale, let's straighten that leg. On the exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend. Inhale, straighten, let the toes lift. We're gonna hold it here for half monkey pose again. You can stay up like this. Drop your glutes to your heel or prop up your left glute with a prop. Flex your toes, lengthen your spine, and slowly come forward. Every inhale, think about lengthening your spine, and every exhale, you want to fold and get a little bit deeper in your pose. If you have the block underneath your glute or a prop, remove it. Let's re-bend into that knee. Curl your right toes under, right knee's gonna lift. Let's come up standing splits. I mean, even if your foot only hovers a few inches, wherever you're at is fine. Holding it here, keep a gentle bend in that front knee. Lift that leg a little higher, and then gently cross the ankle right behind left, and find that fold here. Let's uncross, find that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up nice and high. Exhale, chair, get low. Sinking back towards your heels, roll the shoulders in and down the back. Option hands can always come to heart center. As you look down past the knees, you should be able to see your toes. Give them a nice wiggle. We're gonna come to drinking bird. Come high to your toes, airplane the arms, up dog the chest and hold. Inhale, let's come back to chair, drop the heels. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to mat, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, take a deep breath in. Down dog, exhale it out. Come high on your toes and drop to heels. High to toes and drop to heels. High to toes, let's hold it here. Bringing yourself into child's pose, knees out wide, big toes to touch, sink back towards your heels, forehead connects down. If you need to grab a drink or towel off, go ahead and do that and then meet back in a child's pose. Trying if, to see if you can come back to your ujjayi breath here and imagining there's a mirror underneath your nose and every exhale you're fogging the glass. Let's inhale the right arm out to a T. 
and then exhale, thread it under and through, right temple and cheek comes down. Option if you want to take that left arm to the low back for a half bind, or just keep it extending out long in front of you, maybe pressing up to the pads of the fingers as you tent the fingers. Take one more inhale, exhale back to child's pose, extending the arms long. Inhale your left arm out, exhale take it under and through, left temple and cheek comes down. Same thing with the right arm, you can keep it long or to the low back. On your next exhale, release the arms long. Come into child's pose for a few more rounds of breath. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders, lift the chest. Start to tuck the toes under, sitting back into Malasana, heels and toes out, finding that squat pose. You have an option here to prop up your glutes with your block or blanket or pillows. Option here to bring your hands to heart center, using the elbows to press the knees out. Option here if you want to take this into crow or any other arm balance, if you like, coming into crow. Planting the palms down in front of you as you start to bend your elbows, bring your, your knees to your triceps. As you hinge forward, gaze forward, lift the toes. Otherwise, if you want to stay in Malasana here, if you want to rock a little side to side to get into the hips a little bit more, or maybe you just want to find stillness, allowing the tailbone to shoot down towards the earth. If you came into crow or any other arm balance, start to meet us back in Malasana. Let's start to plant the palms down, lift the tailbone high, and then toe heel the feet about hip width and come into any forward fold of your choice. You can take that rag doll, shoulder rinse, yogi toe lock, or back to gorilla. If you really just want to hang out, just allow the arms to gently sweep across the floor the fingertips gliding. Finding some stillness. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Downward facing dog, walk your hands to the top of the mat and pedal it out. Inhale, your right leg nice and high. Step through to a low lunge. On your inhale, goddess pose, windmill arms open, heels in, toes out. Sinking low, so maybe adjusting your clothes a bit as you come up. Bringing the knees out, sinking the hips low. Roll the shoulders in and down the back. Pull your belly button up and in. Hands can be heart center, goal post, or maybe hips. Option if you want to shimmy side to side. If this is too much, toe heel the feet in and more of a chair, so you can sink back like this. So find what feels best for you. Relax the face, keep the chin parallel to the floor, and just breathe. On your inhale, lift your right heel high. Let's hold it for three two, one. On your left heel, on your inhale, left heel lifts for three, two, one, sink low. Start to bring your hands to your hips as you straighten the legs, toes in, heels out. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, fold to prasarita nice and slow. Lead with the heart, hinge from the hips one vertebrae at a time. Pushing into the knife's edge of the feet. Arms can go wherever is comfortable for you. I'm going to take a block under my forearms today. 
Head and neck release is not holding any tension in the upper body. We're reversing blood flow here. So anytime we get upside down, we start to reverse blood flow. So bringing fresh nutrients to the blood, to the blood, to the heart, and to the brain. From here, if you want to bring your legs over your head for a tripod, headstand, forearm stand, handstand, whatever you want to come into. Also, if you want to play around into an arm balance, feel free. Otherwise, if you're hanging out in Prasarita, just allow the upper body to remain heavy and fold nice and deep. If you took a further expression, gently start to meet us back in wide leg fold. Let's start to walk the hands underneath the shoulders as we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring the hands to the hips. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Use that core to lift you. Once you get all the way to standing, we're going to pivot to the top of the mat, setting up for pyramid on the right. So your right foot is forward, your left foot is back. Take your hips and square them to the front of the room, keeping the feet staggered so we're not on a balance beam here, and the toes pointing as far forward as you can. On your inhale, reach your arms nice and high as you lengthen your spine. On your exhale, waterfall over your front thigh, nice and slow, finding pyramid. Keep a gentle bend in that front knee. Your hands can either release to frame the foot, you can use a prop. If you don't have any props, you can just gently rest the hands to your shin, to your calf, or maybe up towards, not on the knee, but towards the knee. Let's inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, get a little deeper. Planting your right hand down either in front of your right toes or into your prop. Start to gently bend into your right knee as you find half moon. So bringing your left leg up, left arm up, flexing your left toes. Reaching that left arm high or maybe up and over. Let's hold it here. If you have any other variations that you want to come into with a bind, Find the pose that feels best as you find your edge and you might be wobbling. I know I am and that's okay. Don't be afraid to fall out of it and come back into it. From here, we're going to put a gentle bend in that front knee as we step into warrior two. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Reach those arms nice and long. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and sink. Inhale, exhale and sink, flip the front palm, reverse, low lunge, that's windmill hands down. Three-legged dog, bring your right leg high. You can either release to down dog or hinge forward, high plank, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, inhale, down dog, exhale, pedal it out. I'm going to switch to the opposite side so you guys can see me here. When you're ready, inhale your left leg high. Step through, low lunge. And on your inhale, goddess. Heels and toes out. Sink low. Engage the core. Relax the shoulders. Again, arms wherever you want to go. Every exhale, sink a little deeper. Find that edge. On your next inhale, we're going to start to lift both heels high as we hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Hands to hips, straighten the legs, toes in, heels out, push into the knife's edge. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, fold nice and slow. Feel that long spine. And fold in half.
And then again, yogi's choice on where you want to go, finding that furthest expression. When you're ready, start to come into those. If you came into a further expression, gently start to meet us back in wide leg fold. And then let's walk the hands underneath the shoulders as we inhale to a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let's bring the hands to the hips, slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time so we don't get dizzy here. And then we're going to pivot to the top of the mat, setting up pyramid on the left. Left toes forward, right foot back, squaring your hips forward, feet staggered. Inhale your arms nice and high, lengthen that spine. Exhale, waterfall over that front thigh with a gentle bend in the knee, releasing the hands to either frame the foot, resting the hands to the leg, or maybe that prop. Make sure that you're pressing evenly through both heels. And that the stance is either hip width or maybe a little wider. If you want to challenge yourself here, you can walk the hands behind you. You can interlace the fingers behind that ankle, maybe lift the toes for a deeper stretch. Option to bring the hands to the low back, maybe reverse namaste. Or option always to take that bind. So make this pose about you and what you need and where you want to go with it. And then when you're ready, you're going to plant the left palm in front of your left toes, either to the mat or to your prop. As you bend into your left knee, slowly come into half moon. Reaching that right arm, right leg nice and high, opening up the chest. Again, if you want to take that into any other variation when you're ready. Meeting back in half moon, we're going to gently step into warrior two. Back foot parallel to the back of the mat, left toes forward, reach front to back. Inhale. Exhale and sink. Breath in. And breath out. A few more breaths here. Flip the front palm in reverse. Low lunge when meal the hands down. Three legged dog, left leg high. Option to just drop to down dog or take that through chaturanga with the leg lifted. Take a few rounds of breath here in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. Start to come high to your toes and drop to heels. High to toes. Drop to heels. High to toes, hinge forward, plank and hold. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale it out. One more breath. Chaturanga all the way down for five, four, three, two, one. Right or left cheek to the mat. Arms to your sides, wherever is comfortable. Belly down, Shavasana. Again, if you want to grab a quick drink, pal off, and then melt back to the mat. Start to slow the heart rate here by lengthening out your inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, switch cheeks, bring the opposite cheek to the mat and just settle in.
bringing your chin to the mat, we're going to set up for baby cobra, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, bringing the chin to the mat, shimming the legs together, pressing the tops of the thighs into the mat and the tops of the feet. Take a breath in, exhale it out. On your inhale, just lift the chest for baby cobra. Relax the shoulders down and away, stretching through those back muscles, engaging through the back muscles, staying here, or lifting the hands. Keeping the feet planted to the mat. Lift, relax the shoulders. Hold it here, take an inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the chin back down to the mat. We're gonna set up full cobra this time. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift up to full cobra. Shoulders melt in and down the back. Keep the elbows tucked into the ribs. Again, press into the tops of the feet. Hold it here. Take an inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. One more inhale. And then child's pose as you exhale. Knees out wide. Big toes to touch. Sink back towards your heels. Extending your arms long. Or maybe you want to let the arms come to your sides. More rounds of breath here. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, lift the chest, come to sit back on your heels. So you can keep the knees out wide like you were in child's pose or like we started with the knees closer together. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders in and down the back. Inhale the arms nice and high. Exhale, take a twist to the right. Start to plant the right palm behind you. Inhale your hips high, bring your left arm up and over. Find that back bend, reach and hold. Exhale, release. Inhale the arms nice and high. Exhale, let's twist over to the left. Plant the left palm down, inhale the hips high, reach that right arm up and over, hold it here. Exhale, release. Let's start to make our way down to our sits bones as we bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide for cobbler's pose or butterfly pose. Option to keep the legs more at a diamond if you prefer or if you tuck the heels in, it's just gonna feel more of an opening through your hips. Option to interlace the fingers, placing the feet to the hands or take the thumbs to the inner arches. When you're ready, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, nice long spine, hinge from the hips, kind of find a fold as far as you can go. If you have the knees up like this, you can use the elbows to the insides of the knees to press the knees out. If you have props, you can place them underneath the knees. If the knees are real, the hips are super tight, you can just allow the props to rest underneath the knees. You can also take the block to the feet and bring the forehead to the block or stack the fists. that breath nice and strong. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. We're gonna set up for fire log or full pigeon pose. You're gonna bring your right leg on top of your left as you stack the, the legs. If you can't get the legs stacked, just bring your right leg in front of your left for Sukhasana or easy seated pose. If you have the legs stacked, think about flexing the feet, finding those sit bones. Inhale the arms nice and high. Exhale, long spine as if I'm pulling your arms towards the front of the room, come down nice and slow. Once you've gotten as far as you can go, press the palms to the mat and then let the head and neck hang heavy. You want to use the palms pressing into the mat to press those hips back so that we're not lifting up, we're pressing back, feeling that right hip stretch. 
With every inhale, lengthen your spine, and with every exhale, see if maybe you can walk the hands a little bit further to the top of the mat. Again, without those hips lifting. More rounds of breath here. On your next inhale, gently walk the hands underneath the shoulders, lift the chest. Maybe shake the legs out a little bit here. And let's switch left leg on top or left leg in front, flexing the feet, find those sit bones. Inhale, reach the arms nice and high. Exhale, nice and slow as if I'm pulling your arms towards me. Reach and lengthen, and then release when you've gotten as far as you can go. On your next inhale, walk the hands underneath the shoulders, lift the chest, and let's take the legs out long, maybe shake them out a little bit. Keeping the legs long, flexing the feet, lengthening the spine, inhale, arms up, exhale and fold, again, long spine as if I'm pulling your arms towards me, and then once you've gotten as far as you can, release the hands and let the upper body relax. If you have really tight hamstrings, feel free to prop the knees up, blanket, bolster, block, pillows, maybe multiple props. It's okay. Be where you're at. Don't force yourself into anything. Guide yourself. Every breath, guide yourself to get a little deeper. You'd be surprised what the breath can do for you in your practice. And then from here, we're just going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. And let's come all the way down to our backs. Any way you want to go, just go nice and slow and controlled. So either keeping the legs straight or placing a bend in the knees. Let's meet back down. Once you get all the way down, start to hug the knees into the chest as you rock side to side. Let's inhale the legs up towards the ceiling, flexing the feet. Again, option to take props underneath your low back. Reversing blood flow here. Again, for those essential workers, very important that, again, you give your feet some love, your legs. So after a long shift, come home and just take this pose. From here, you can stay there or come into shoulder stand. Rolling up high under the shoulders, supporting the low back, keeping the head and neck very still. If you're taking that into plow, lower the feet behind the head, and if the toes touch, release the hands from the low back. You can take that to deaf man's pose. And then slowly roll out into a happy baby. Rocking side to side if you like. Let's end the way we began in Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Bringing your hands wherever is comfortable. One hand to heart, one hand to belly represents you honoring and thanking the two forces that keep you alive. If your arms are to your sides, palms are up to receive or down to ground. Or if you have those arms overhead, you're grabbing for opposite elbows, open up the shoulders and chest. We'll just settle in for three full rounds of breath here. Inhale, filling the belly up. Exhale and empty out. Again, inhale, belly rises. 
Exhale, belly falls. And take that last round at your own pace. Let's bring the knees together like a book, hugging the knees to the chest. Let's take a ball pose. Wrap the arms around the legs, pull the forehead to the knees, squeeze everything as tight as you can to a teeny tiny ball. Hold it here for one more inhale. Exhale, Shavasana, any way you like here. Letting the arms and legs splay out where they want to go. If your palms are up, just allowing the fingers to start to curl in towards the palms. Releasing any tension in that third eye center. Relaxing the jaw and allowing the tongue to fall from the roof of the mouth. Maybe a slight space between the lips as you start to come back into that natural breath. Allowing the shoulders to melt in and down the back. Letting go of that Uddiyata Bandha, that connection with the belly button to spine. Letting the legs fall out where they want to go. Letting the feet turn out. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to melt to your Shavasana. the arms behind you for a nice good morning stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Hug the knees to the chest and roll to your right or left side coming into your fetal pose making a little pillow with your bicep here. Just pause for a moment in this pose of rebirth. Noticing any differences. How are you feeling mentally? physically and emotionally and honor and thank yourself for taking that time to connect. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. And then with your eyes still closed, gently bring yourself to a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to your heart center. The light and love in me sees, honors, and respects the amazing, beautiful, bright light and love in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming this morning, joining me as we start to bring together our amazing positive energy and vibes. Let's start to bring the thumb knuckles to that third eye center, and we'll begin to seal our practice by bowing forward and saying, Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me on this Monday morning vinyasa flow. I'll be doing another live stream tonight, 545 Chakra Yoga. We'll be focusing on the root chakra. So if you're feeling that imbalance and instability, please join me. If you can't catch it live, it'll still be up on Facebook, and then we post to the YouTube channel. Other than that, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time.